now being released into the wild. Later on, we'll tell you about the repopulation plan for turkeys. Now let's talk turkey. 94 eastern wild turkeys were released in the Julian area today. The goal is to reestablish their population in San Diego County. The birds apparently were wiped out after a 1972 fire. San Diego Safari Club brought the creatures from Kansas in hopes of putting the birds back onto San Diego's ornithology list. We're happy to reintroduce these birds to San Diego County, and uh, someday they may be a huntable uh, population, but quite frankly, uh, if there never is, uh, we, we feel that uh, we've made a major conservation effort. If this works, and if these birds like each other very, very much, there should be about 23,000 wild turkeys in San Diego County by 1995, all from this batch of 94, not from anybody else you might know or meet anywhere. <laughs> Some of them might be a little lift off there, I see. Yeah. Yeah. That Peter was the birds on the planet, really. <laughs> Peter Navarro, joined the Valley Commentary. Through the efforts of the Department of Fish and Game, the Wild Turkey Federation, and the San Diego Safari Club, turkeys are back in San Diego County. Prior to 1972, uh, there was a turkey plants in San Diego County. Uh, we had a major fire, it's called the Laguna Fire of 1972, that swept most of the eastern county and almost into the city limits of El Cajon. Uh, generally, the population of turkeys was wiped out in that major fire. And certain sportsmen's groups, such as the Safari Club, and the Wild Turkey uh, Foundation Federation has uh, gone to some great efforts to reintroduce birds to San Diego County. And this is done primarily by sportsmen. Uh, sportsmen are hunters, fishermen. We're the ones who pay our uh, hunting license fees. The majority of the budget of the Department of Fish and Game, California Department of Fish and Game, is financed by hunting licenses. But uh, not only are we uh, consumptive type people, but we are also major conservationists and we're happy to reintroduce things like birds uh, to San Diego County, wild turkeys. We've also spent money on uh, sheep studies, deer studies, and this type of thing. So many of us feel that uh, if we do a conservation effort like uh, we've done today, we don't really care particularly uh, that we hunt these things until they are a healthy herd. If, if they become a healthy flock, then we will have some limited hunting. But uh, if we don't have the uh, hunting, we still feel like we've made a major conservation effort. We're happy to do that and, and spend our money on that type of effort. As a biologist for the California Department of Fish and Game, John Massey supervised the Turkey Release Project sponsored by the San Diego chapter of the Safari Club International and the Wild Turkey Federation. Looking at the, In order to tell the adult bird from the juvenile bird, you have to spread the tail feathers and look at the the tip of the barring on the on the primaries. That means you got to stop and look at each one of them and carefully examine them because the central primary, the central what they call uh, remiges, the tail feathers are are molted in the center first, and so they're longer than the one on the other side. In a young bird, uh, adult birds all have a nice round tail. So if you spread the tail and look at that, and then look at the tip of the wing, you can tell whether how much wear there is on the tip of that feather. So that way you can tell whether the bird is over or not. But to do that, we have to stop. So. And that it's more handling. Yeah. And these, the biggest problem we have here is a thing called capture myopathy, which is uh, white muscle disease. Then you shoot them out over the top of them, and you grab them, and you put them in a box, and you put a band on them, and you take them to the university, and you draw blood out of them, and that means you take them out of the box, lay them on a the table. You know, all of these things are totally foreign to the bird, yeah. and, and you're going to lose some of them. Now, we brought 285 of them out of the Black Hills, South Dakota, and only lost one. My office doesn't kill them outright. Yeah. It takes a while, and then they're crippled, and that then allows the coyotes to recognize that they, hey, I can catch that, and oh, boy, it's good. Yeah. Otherwise, he has no uh, familiarity with uh, a wild turkey. We got enough birds out of out of this group, though, that'll uh, that'll make a, a start of a very healthy flock mm -hmm. in here. And so, uh, yeah. Yeah. And of course, it is the first step. We're going to do a lot more of this if we can. John, I think it's a credit to you and a lot of other people that have worked real hard to uh, get the first plant of wild turkeys back into San Diego County in about 20 years. So as a member of the Safari Club, we'd like to congratulate you on your efforts and thank you for your dedication. Well, pleased to hear you say that. There's an awful lot of people who are involved in this move, and uh, it, it's uh, a number of dedicated people that are making this thing work. And it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. So, John, why don't you and I... Uh, 
co-release this uh, first turkey being planted back in the San Diego County. Okay, let's give him a little bit of that.